I met Helen Blumenthal in the you know, peak epidemic of COVID in June of 2020. So she moved from New York City to New Jersey and she needed a new heart doctor and she came to my office in June. That time she already has the diagnosis of aortic stenosis, but she did not have any symptoms. And he, yeah, did another echocardiogram and he had me do them twice a year and see him after each one. And in September of 2021, uh, they didn't like the results. Aortic stenosis is a very slowly developing disease. Even though she's 80 year old, she's very active, but you know, she's slowly started becoming slow. She was not able to walk too much. She was not able to sleep, sleep well. She thought I'm aging, maybe these sim symptoms are related to my age. Function of the heart is to pump the blood to every organ in the body. So it has to go through the valve. So because of the age, because of the calcification, this valve starts becoming stiffer. So it will not allow blood to come out of the heart. So that's what is called aortic stenosis. But most of the times it's age related because the you know, heart has been working for so many years. It's one of the you know, mechanical processes. But with the tower procedure, we can make, you know, make the valve almost normal. My mother had the same problem. She had her replacement done, no, well, early 2000s. Uh, it was open heart surgery. He explained Taver and um, it, it sounded a lot easier than open heart surgery. Taver is uh, actually, if you elaborate, it's called transcatheter aortic valve replacement. It's a simple procedure. So basically, we go through the groin artery just like a cardiac catheterization. There is a valve. The valve is crimped over the balloon. We make a small hole in the groin artery and we take this valve to the original location of the heart valve and we open the balloon. When we open the balloon, the crimped valve expands and uh, stays there. Uh, the actual procedure takes probably less than 30 minutes. Sometimes it could go up to one hour. Then after that, just like a catheterization, we remove the tube from the groin. We put like one or two sutures and the patient will be able to walk after four hours. And for this, we don't need general anesthesia. It's just like a cardiac catheterization. I arrived at the hospital at around 5.30, 6 o'clock. I went home the next day. Uh, they, I was on my feet that evening. And from then on, I was walking. We know that the heart pushes blood through, the, through your entire body. And that was blocked. And I was still tired for a day or two. But after that, no, I started walking faster. I'm sleeping better. I walk a lot. I, I wasn't as aware of it, but the person I walk with was. Uh, and he noticed that after the procedure, I was walking considerably faster. I was able to do more around the apartment. I didn't, I, I didn't get tired as quickly. Before the procedure, I found that I had to take it easy every afternoon for a couple hours. I mean, literally, there was almost no recovery needed. They were practically laughing because once I was allowed to get up, you know, get not recline fully, um, I sat in a chair. But it was easy to do and it healed quickly. I was very pleasantly surprised by the treatment at Jersey City Medical Center. It was professional, it was caring. I, I could not get up by myself, so I had to press the button. I, they were right there. So that, that was really impressive. Uh, it's like, oh, I recommend that place. If your doctor says that you need to have your aortic valve replaced, ask if you qualify for a TAVR procedure. Oh, I definitely recommend a TAVR procedure at Jersey City Medical Center.